So made it. So I made it. <coughs> Just chilling. Chilling at KL IA, Kuala Lumpur International Airport. And uh, I gotta get to H2, gate H2. I don't know where that is, but I'll find. I got three hours to kill until I head to Hong Kong. Um, but I felt something really cool. I'm inside the airport and they have a train. They have a train system. I think I have to go under here because this goes to uh, A, B, G, and H. So I might get on this and just see where it goes. It goes over here. It goes into there. Like it's that's really cool. Like I don't know, but I just walked through like a sh big shopping center. There's a center. I think yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here, and over here is the jungle board. So, see, there's a train. Ooh, just rocks up in this airport, which is cool. So this, yeah, this is where I am, and it goes out to here. But I, I don't know what that is. But in here, you can go through this jungle boardwalk and come out, which is just that thing there. But I, I don't know if I want to get to that, go in there. I might never come out. See, it's just a normal train. But that's cool. All right, mate. You okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just talking to myself. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Right. You too. Cheers, buddy. Uh, I sat next to that guy on the train. I mean, on the airplane. He was really nice. Except he was... I knew he was doing this. I never saw him do it. But he was spitting into a serviette. And I, at the, as we were landing, he did it. Hocked up a big loogie and spat it into his serviette. And I don't know why I looked, but I looked at him doing it. And then I don't know why he had to look at it. It's like, oh, yeah, that's a good one. And then puts it in at the end of the back of the seat. It was gross. It was fucking gross. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to get on that and see what happens. Because it says, going to H. So we'll see. But yeah, there's a jungle in there. I'll, I'll, I'll come out here. I feel like a wanker. I'm like fucking camera out, talking to myself. But it's just like a big fucking shopping center. It's crazy. I, I don't know. It's like they have boost? It's mental. They've got Hungry Jacks, but it's Burger King here. <sighs> yeah. It's just, it's another country. Anyway, I'll put this away and see if I can find my gate. I don't know. I'm thinking it's in here.
But I'll wait for this train and see what happens. This is a really cool train. Six, quarter past six in the morning here too. Oh, where are we? Okay. Let's see what happens when I get off here. I'll get out. We got some Star Schmucks coffee. Oh, look at that. That's where I got to go to. H two. So if I can find where I gotta go to, then I'll just... Oh, that have a Hershey's place. Then I'll know where I gotta go. Then I can walk around and get a coffee or something. Some crazy stuff here. Like the little, 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 little Kit Kats. The singles. Le Cor. On the way is by NH816, NH816 Unaita is now ready for boarding through AC1, gate C1. Thank you. No, I think this is the right way. Oh, I got some fancy booze in here. Already got mine though. To drink while I'm in Hong Kong. I don't know why, but I got it anyway. H4, H6. Ooh, H2. This is where I have to be. I'm on the 915. MH0072. That one there. Hong Kong. Sweet. So now where I've got to be, now I can just go for a walk. I'm not going to go up there. I'll get mugged going up there. I'll just hang around up here and see if I can buy a coffee. Okay, cool. Some part 
of KL International Airport. There was a dude riding a bike on here before. That's how cruisy it is here. He's just going for a stroll down there. No fucks given, mate. I thought that was a bird, but it's a mark on the window. <laughs> Dickhead. This is like one side of the airport where I came from that on that fucking train that's just went like was like a bullet. <laughs> Faster than the flash. Oh well, that guy to come back on the bike, he was just cutting laps earlier. Came out from under there. Oh well, there's a little airport vehicle coming. That's cool. yeah, that's cool. Driven one of them before. Athletes Village, come off gangs. Oh there he is. Can we see him? There he is. Oh, you can just see him. Doesn't care, mate. Just going to go on for a ride. It's his morning exercise. Yeah, that's cool. It's gorgeous. Look at the mountains there in the background, all covered in fog. It's current, currently 27 degrees right now Celsius. So that's cool. Yeah, just chilling, having a brew. Starch marks cost me fourteen dollars and thirty cents. Although that was uh, Malaysian rupee. So apparently, if you divide it by three, it's roughly that's to the Australian dollar. Every three dollars, roughly, or something, three or four dollars. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I still got about two hours to kill, and then uh, I catch my next flight to Hong Kong, which is about three or four hours, or maybe more. I don't know. I've lost two hours already. I don't know where I went, but it's lost two hours. Anyway. Oh, I want to go in there. It's one of those prime beast hunters. Yeah, that's cool. It's like a Ghidorah. Th 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 Ghidorah. Three head Ghidorah, whatever. King of the beasts. This is really cool. Can't go in, I've got to go. I've got to board my plane. There's lots of fancy alcohols in there. Anyway, got to get the hitch too. Got to board my plane. What's up, mother vloggers? I finally made it to my hotel in Hong Kong, on Hong Kong Island, called La Causeway. I don't know, but oh, what a fucking trip that was. Jesus Christ. I'm knackered. Um, I'm sweaty, I'm hot. It's like 28 degrees here Celsius, which is like summer weather. But at least. Uh, I got a free upgrade to my room, I guess it's an upgrade, it's pretty cool, because my room that I ordered was dirty, so they gave me this one for free, with a bigger bed, and that's on the top floor, I'm on the 37th floor, the only thing above me is the pool that goes to the edge of the building, which I'll show you later, and also there's a gym above me, so sweet, I'm not doing anything to gym today, but I will, well, other few days I'm here, but just check this view out, oh. I don't know how, like, well this is going to come across. Like how well you're gonna see it, but like look at that. Like I'm on the 37th floor. You got the harbour out here. Like it's this, that smog you can see too. I don't think it's cloud. It's definitely smog, but it's it's beautiful. It really is gorgeous. I know it's. I don't know what it is, but it this is fantastic. There's a building. There's a swimming pool. There's tennis courts. There's a park. Behind me, I don't know how much you're gonna actually be able to see, but there's jungle, like there's mountains and jungle and shit behind me. So I get jungle, city, ocean. It's just fantastic. So, I mean, this is what I love. I love this this view, like this sort of cityscape and stuff. This is fantastic. But that's really cool. That's really cool. Um, I had a big ass bed. It's a bit messy in here, but fuck it. I just got here about, about an hour ago. I got my computer set up, <laughs> ready to go, Wi-Fi. I bought this at the Melbourne airport, duty free. 
This is my favourite scotch, Phil. Phil English, buddy. This is what I could have been bringing to Canada. 12 year old Abalua, one litre bottle for 79 Aussie dollars. You normally get 700 ml bottles for 69 dollars, so that's that's fantastic. Uh, even comes in this awesome cardboard tub. Oh, it's so good. So I'm just having a cheeky, cheeky glass. Cheers to all my fellow mother vloggers. Oh, yeah. And the only way to drink that is neat. Beautiful stuff. Um, yeah, so I got my bed there. I'm gonna put my suitcase somewhere else. There's a mirror. Let me put some light on so you can see what's going on. There's a light here too. Uh, so yeah, there's got a mirror there. I've um, got my cupboard with a safe in there. It's not really exciting, but I won't use it. The bathroom's pretty cool. I've got a telephone near the toilet. It's not a robot toilet, which I was a bit chatted about. But that's okay. Um, but it's it's really cool. Um, like it's. Well, I thought that might have been a door, but it's just a hook. Uh, I got a bath shower. I'm going to be sitting in that tonight with a couple of cheeky scotches there, a bit of music, just just relaxing because it's been a long 24 hours, and I just need a little bit of a little bit of me time. Um, but check this out. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. This is this is weird. I didn't even know there was a door here, but this is my door. I'll just take my key in case I get locked out. I gotta be quiet though. Like I'm on the top floor. But you come down. That's a, that's an elevator. It doesn't really look, it just looks like a wall. But I came up here. I gotta be quiet, I don't wanna wake anyone. It's a fire escape. When you come in here, you can't really see. Damn it, you can't see. But, it just looks like. Focus. Focus. Yeah, see how it's all wood panel and stuff? It just looks like it's a wall. Like it's. It's like a secret room, but there's three rooms. There's like a door here. There's a door, a door to get to the rooms. I don't, I don't understand, but there's another room there. I don't know if there's anybody there, but again, I've got that same sort of key. That's where I'm staying, L Hotel. Okay, I'll just put that there while I'm in here. Um, but this is, I mean, it's not much, but it's, it's amazing. This is all I need. It cost me fuck all too, because I got it on, a, on some website. But that's, that's awesome. Um, anyway, get back to me, because I want to tell you a little story. <laughs> a lot of shit happened while I was, um, getting here. And I didn't film much, because I feel like a wanker when I've got my camera out, talking to it when I'm in public and that, but... I think it's going to be a little bit different here because um, they don't really know what you're saying, I think, so it's, it's okay. But um, anyway, I get to Melbourne Airport and they almost didn't let me out of the fucking country because when you scan the passport in your scanning machine, it takes it in and then it goes, yep, no worries, you can go through. It fucking chewed mine. So... It, it tore mine up a little bit and it bent it and it creased it and then when I went, to, it, it wouldn't accept it and I was like, okay, freaking out a little here then this officer's come over and said, oh, you need to go through here and speak to an officer and whatever. I'm like, oh, shit. So they put it through and I said, what's going on here? Why is this all tampered with? And I was like, no, 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 the machine just did that. Like, the machine just did it, man. It's the machines, man. And they're like, oh, okay, no worries. And they filled out this form and they photocopied it and they put all this information on this. So basically, I have to make a claim to the passport people and say, hey, your machine ruined my passport. You have to give me a free one. This lady was really nice. She, um, put her name to it and a phone number and she signed it and gave me a photocopy of it and everything. But it's just a big, it, it worked in her machine so that allowed me to go through. So she's like, it shouldn't be an issue. So I'm hoping it's not an issue because I need to come back into that country. 
And then, yeah, nine hours later or whatever, or seven hours later, I get to Kuala Lumpur. Um, and that's where that tr the airport has its own trains. There's a train station, a train network in the airport. Ah, freak me out. And then I get from there to here, and it was all good. The fucking getting on the bus, though, like from the airport to my hotel or close to my hotel, the bus driver was a mental case. This guy was like, I thought he was going to crash like a half a dozen times. Like he was going so fucking, like there was this much space between the car or the bus or whatever was in front of him and in the front of his bus. Like he was mental. Like he, but he, he knew his bus. Like he knew how close he needed to get the corners. Like he drove that thing perfect. Actually, you know what it was like? It's like the guy from Harry Potter, Trace, Prisoner of Azkaban, where the, 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 the night bus, that driver on the night bus, it was like that. It was exactly like that because it was a double-decker bus as well. Like That was a weird noise. But it was like that. It was like the night bus. I couldn't believe that, actually. Yeah, that's exactly what it was like. But it was cool. It was like 15 stops uh, to get to here or 16 stops to get to here. Someone's called me on Skype, so I better go. But it's awesome. I'm going to get some footage later. I'll, uh, yeah, talk to you later, guys. Okay, bye. Hey, what's up, motherfuckers? Uh, yeah, so yesterday was a write-off. Um, possibly drank a little bit too much on the Tuesday night when I arrived. Uh, found a little, uh, restaurant. Had some, uh, some scallop. It's basically scallop soup with noodles uh, and corn and peas and something. I, I can't remember. Uh, I know it tasted good because I was a bit unsure about uh, ordering the scallops, but actually uh, uh, an Asian bloke ordered it for me. I was talking to him in the, at the restaurant and I was talking to him and said, oh, what do you reckon I should get? And he said he ordered that one for me. Uh, and he was really nice. We were just chatting for ages and ages. Um, he was a local. I think he was in real estate or something like that. But we just talked forever and ever. Uh, and I ended up paying for his meal because it was so nice <laughs> and I was a little bit drunk so <laughs> but uh, it wasn't very expensive and, and that's fine uh, and then I, I went for a walk we said our goodbyes I went for a walk uh, and I found a bar and that's when shit got messy um, I sat at the bar and I drank for oh, Japanese whiskey after Japanese whiskey after Japanese whiskey and then uh, let's just say um, I got home well I got back to the hotel by about 1am uh, I'm not quite sure how I got here, but yeah, yesterday I spent the whole day sleeping um, until last night when I bought some, uh, about eight o'clock I went for a little walk because I needed to get some food and I got uh, some blueberry cheesecake ice cream, oh, so good, and some pizza flavored potato chips and what was the other one? Yeah, these pizza flavored chips and they are fantastic. And ruffles. They have ruffles. Remember ruffles? Ah, oh, I just ate them just before. But I'm now technically on. Oh shit! I just spilled them everywhere. Uh, technically on day three now, and I'm going to just go for a walk. Just spend the whole day walking. Just picking up the chips there, because um, it's a pretty nice day outside. It's early. It's only like six thirty in the morning at the moment. So, um, just waiting for my breakfast to be ready. Um, I got like a free continental breakfast or buffet breakfast, whatever it is, but that starts at seven. And then I'm going to go to the tallest tower, which I think I can see that over here. Um, they've got a sky deck on it. And then I'm going to go see the big Buddha if I can find it. But yeah, I'll just show you another. So I think that's it over there. The, the big tower is that big one over there. And at, at, at the night time, that thing lights up. That has a laser show and a light, like all the different lights light up and it just goes crazy. But um, there's another view of where I'm from my hotel room. There's a pool over there. I want to go to that pool somehow. I don't know. But yeah, it's a bit bit foggy, but again, it's only about 6.30, so it's pretty bright for 6.30. But uh, yeah, that's all I have planned today. I'm just really going to go for a walk and just uh, see what I see. You know, maybe I'd love to try and go to the mountains, but I'm Pretty sure I'm going to try and get to that place over there, which um, just down here, I think, 
Yeah, I think just down below me is a train station anyway, and it goes over there. So I think that's Kowloon over there. It must be because that's where that is. That that, that tower there is in Kowloon. I'm pretty sure that's Kowloon. Has to be, but we'll find out. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna take my camera with me, so you'll get to see some bit more of Hong Kong than just from my hotel window. So until then, talk to you later. This is my view for my breakfast. So far, I got a coffee. Mm. It's cool, it's cool. And I get to go down there and eat my breakfast, or get all my breakfast. Mm, look at that breakfast. I got some noodles and some fried rice. Uh, that's like some Singapore noodles or something. I got some uh, look, chicken sausages and some beef patties and some bacon and some baked beans. And a uh, hard boiled egg. And then I got some bread because I didn't know how to use a toaster. <laughs> So it's bread, but oh, that looks so good. I never thought I'd have beans and noodles together, but this is gonna be good. Oh, this yeah. is weird. 32, 33, no level 34, 35, 36, my level 37, no level 38, so there's not even a button here, and 39, must be a secret room. Hmm. I wonder what's on level 38, must be where they do all the experiments on humans. I don't know. And then, back to my hotel room. Yeah, so, I got on a train, and I'm not quite sure where I am. I think I'm at Kowloon Bay. Uh, I just sort of got swept up in the, in the crowds at the station, and just sort of went with them. Um, and everybody seems to be just walking, like all in a group and just this conjugating somewhere. So I've just sort of been following them. But I'm sat outside a cinema at the moment. And they're like advertising PS4 games. There's an Uncharted poster there, Uncharted 4. And there's like PS4 and then some, I don't know if that's an anime poster over there or something, but yeah, I don't know. It looks pretty cool in there. I, I don't know if I should go in there, but yeah, it's like a bank and some people doing exercises out the front of the bank. Um, I don't understand what's going on. See this line here? Ooh, everybody just keeps walking to somewhere. There's something, they know something I don't. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and look at all these buildings. It's a concrete jungle, that's for sure. But I'm not really sure what I'm going to do now. I'm just going for a walk, trying to find a sky tower and stuff, but we'll see how we go. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just following all these people. Oh, maybe down to here. Down into here. I think down this way. Yep, I'm gonna go left. Just gotta do it. Whoa. I don't want to step on anybody. Some people like wear those masks at their faces. It's quite stuffy in, in the underground train station and stuff like that. Okay, so that symbol, that red symbol, means train station. So just look out for them. Okay, so I don't know where I'm going. I'm just going to go for a walk. So if I find anything cool, I'll show you guys. Okay, four oh, stinks. Seafoody smell, so it must be near the ocean somewhere. Anyway, okay, bye. Okay, now this is something that I thought was freaking cool, but that scaffolding there it's all bamboo, bamboo and shade cloth. I thought they only did that in the movies, but it's legit what they do in real life. It is that's crazy. 
Canada is fucking crazy. But it's everywhere. But I just thought that was cool. But uh, yeah, so now you know. Look at that scaffolding. It's more of it. So it's not just a once off thing. That's crazy. That's holding the side of the building together. But that, people probably stand on those platforms to do work. That's so crazy. Look at this IKEA mega box. It's kind of cool. I might go in there. I don't know if it's like a shopping center or something. I'm going over there. I got honked at earlier because I was on the road. The taxi driver honked at me. But anyway, I'm going over there. So I'm visiting the ZCB. And it's lucky I'm not doing any of this stuff, so it's okay. But I don't actually know what this is. There's a guided tour at 10 a.m., which I'm probably, it's probably close to that. Let me see. Oh, it's 9 o'clock in the morning, so I'm not going to stick around for that. There's some little dudes here. I like to pick those flowers. There's like a thing there. Some more little construction dudes. Kind of cool. Uh, see, I don't know. I still want to go into there because it's a Toys R Us by the looks. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll find some video games in there or something. It's a H&M. I don't know what that is, but I'm, I think I do. Where are those in Melbourne? Clothes or something. But it just looks fucking crazy. Oh, it's so much bigger, of course. Oh, look, there's a whole, whole heap more of those dudes. I don't know if that's a kid's table or just a normal-sized person's table for here. But it was tiny. Hmm. Just like that. The one on the right is for locals and then the one on the left is for the tourists. So look at these dudes. They're ready for some work. It's cool. Uh, so I don't know where I'm going. But I'm gonna go this way. The garden's pretty cool. Look at this building here. It's fucking random as. They got trees living in it, in the middle of it. I wonder if I can go in there. It's, oh, everything's so big. Look at this. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Oh, I think I found out how to get in here. There, I'm just gonna walk in. But how do I get up this fucking road? I think I'll just go over here. But anyway, oh, I've got the green men over here, like at home. Cool. Another big ass fucking building there. Oh. Alright, I'm going in. Inside the mega box, it's uh, I don't think there's any places open yet. I think it's still a bit early, but I'm in the Maccas, <laughs> the McDonald's. I got a latte, you know, flat white because I'm starting to starting to fade. Been up since five o'clock because <laughs> I slept all day yesterday. Something I want to show you, and I'm going to have to try later today because I can't have it straight away. But I'm just getting it out of my wallet. Check this out. Iced soy green tea and a soy green tea. Look how nice they look. 
I'm going to have to try them later. This is a card they gave me. That's like a rewards card when you get your coffee. Um, so, this is a large flat white. It was $27. Hong Kong dollars. Which... It's about five or so dollars. It's about right. Which is about right. Oh, it's very tasty. It is hot. But uh, I'll do a quick sweep of the Maccas. It's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, um, just gonna chill here for a bit. Been walking for an hour. And then I'm gonna explore this shopping mall. It's not very exciting, but it's a shopping mall in another country. And then I'm gonna uh, just go for more walks. That's all I want to do today is just walk around. Get on random trains, get off at the train stations and just walk. But yeah, okay, talk to you later. Just thought I'd show you this quickly because it's really cool. They're 50 cent pieces here, the gold. That's just 50 cents. And you got, that's a one dollar. You can see that, that's just this, nothing really crazy about that. And their two dollars is got this ruffled edges, ruffled edges. Um, that's kind of cool, and there's like a flower on the back, but that's two bucks, or two Hong Kong dollars. And we got a five dollar coin. That's crazy. Same sort of flower on that. Um, I haven't seen a five dollar note yet, so they might not have them. But that's a five dollar coin, Hong Kong dollar. Yeah, but then, this is, oh, this is really cool. I thought some lady shortchanged me earlier, but she actually gave me ten dollar coin. So that's the same as the note. So that's that's pretty cool. That's a, a proper ten dollar note, but in coin form. But yeah, just thought it was cool. I'll show you that. I haven't been spending my coins because I've been a bit worried about them. I'm not too sure what. Because everything's pretty costly, you know, like $27 for a coffee and stuff. You have to give them a lot of these coins. And so I've just been saving them up and I'll just load up my travel card or something with them or keep them or exchange them later. But yeah, that's just really cool. Just thought I'd show you that. Okay, so that's where it was. Probably really windy too, uh, so I apologise for the wind. But that's where I was, and I basically just walked through that huge construction site. Like, the, it had a proper pathway for pedestrians, but it was basically through the whole site. It was really weird. But I've been walking probably for the last hour and a half just to get here. But I, I don't know what I did. I did like this massive spiral that went out, and then all the way up here, and then back down here. And all I had to do was just walk across. So fuck, I'm knackered. But I'm on this big ass bridge now. I don't know where I'm going. I think... I think I'm headed over here. It's a cruise terminal. So I... I don't know. I'm hoping there's a train... Oh, that wind. I'm hoping there's a train station somewhere here because I'm fucked if I want to walk back through all that. It's so hot and sweaty and smelly. But I've got a fair walk on me. side of my hotel room. It's not this side, because that's where I got off on the train. Could be over there. I don't know. But I'm just going to go for a walk. And a big one at that. And hopefully find a station or some description or, I don't know, or maybe even go on a cruise somewhere. But I, I don't know where I am strange but I just want to go over to this big building because it looks kind of cool looks futuristic and then a lot to go into there but we'll see but that's it for now and if I find something cool I don't know if you're going to be able to see this but that water looks terrible there's fish trying to, get, trying to escape Is that, oh look, I don't know if you can see but there's fish jumping out of the water trying to get out because it's so bad in there Oh, look at them all. Look at them all. Even they don't want to be in there. It looks pretty gross.
can't, I, I can't see if you're seeing any of the fish trying to escape. But they've got to jump higher than that. They're barely breaking the surface. Oh, there's a couple. I don't know, I just thought that was pretty cool. The fish trying to escape. I don't know if this is salt water or fresh water. Maybe they're salt water fish swam down in the fresh water by accident trying to get back home to the salt water. I don't know, but I'm on a place called Runway Park. Sorry if it's really windy. But um, I think because it looks like a giant runway. But this leads to that big fucking building, I think. Don't know. Maybe I need to cross over a bit more. I, I don't know. I'm just going to walk down here and see where this takes me. Worst case, I'll just walk back up it. All right, see you later. Some other vloggers. Um, I'm inside that big cruise ship looking building thing. Um, I, I don't know what this place is, but I walked in and then walked straight back out because I felt like I shouldn't be in here. <laughs> but um, uh, I'm at a bus stop, which I, th I think it's a, <coughs> I think it's a bus stop. So it looks like a bus stop and it says it's like 5.50 and it gets me back to um, where I basically where I came from. So I'm just going to wait here for a bit and see if somebody comes in. It gets me back to Kowloon Bay, which is where I got off the train. Um, the cruise terminal, that's where this place is. I think there's shops and stuff here, but there doesn't seem to be anybody around. So I don't know. So I'm just chilling. So I've been walking for a couple of hours now. I'm knackered. And I'm all sweaty. It's very humid here. It's not hot, but it's very humid. Um, I need to go home, have a shower, maybe have a little nap and then walk the other way from my hotel room and see what's on offer that way. I, I was walking around that mega box place, um, that giant red building earlier, and I kept getting kicked out of the shops because they weren't open. Uh, it was like 9.30, quarter to 10. Like, no, we're not open, you can't come in. Was, okay, sorry, sorry, my bad, sorry, my, my bad. None of the shops were open, so apparently they all, they all open at 10, which I think I heard that because they're open later. They're open, they might close at 10 at night or something. But I don't know, so I, I just left there and I couldn't be bothered waiting. And I just seem to have walked unnecessarily. So I'm just going to sit here for a bit and hopefully somebody will come out and offer me a lift back to my place. Because I don't want to walk for another two hours to get back to Kowloon Bay. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to do that. So I'm hoping these buses are in transit. We'll see. Alright, well, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Oh, I got on the bus. Woo. After two drove off on me. I just got on this one. <laughs> I only had to wait 25 minutes. <laughs> uh, uh, now I think I'm heading back to where I started walking from. Yeah. I don't know. What's up, motherfuckers? Uh, back in my hotel room. Um, today was a bit of a failure. I couldn't find the building that I wanted to go visit. And, uh, yeah, I just didn't really research it very well. <laughs> um, but I still walked around Kowloon for, for quite a few hours and went into a lot of shops. It's a, there's a lot of shops there, but they're all designer shops and 
and I couldn't really find any markets or anything like all the shops at the train stations there's, there's hundreds of them and it's all underground but they're all labels they're all brand names and expensive places and I just didn't go into any of them I found a HMV but they were I thought I'll have a quick look at that there's some interesting like figures and stuff but I'm not paying retail for figures I can get that when I get home but um I, I'm, I, I don't know it's not really I'm not really a shopping person and I think it's a bit of a shopping area down that way but uh yeah I, I don't know tomorrow I'm gonna um I think I've, I've had enough for the day today it's like three o'clock in the afternoon and I've been out out and about since eight even earlier but uh, I'm just I'm over it today um I might go and do a gym session because there's a gym upstairs uh, and I got the pool as well like a rooftop pool that goes right up to the edge so I'm just going to chill up there later today I might even have a little nap I look a little bit tired I feel a bit tired <clears throat> um, just found some weird coin 20 cents smaller than the 10 cents that with the rest um, yeah I got back and to my surprise housekeeping had been uh, they would have had to clean up my mess. Whoops! Um, but I had bagged it up for them. <laughs> uh, that was fun. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, but that's it. That's it for today. Um, I'll show you guys what the gym's like and what the pool's like later as well. Uh, then I'll, after the pool, I have a shower and I'll go down and maybe look for something to eat. Just locally. There's a lot of restaurants. You couldn't go hungry here. Man, food, the restaurants that are available. I might remember to actually get some footage for you, but yeah, I don't know. I just forget to get the camera out. But um, yeah, if anything exciting happens, I'll, um, I'll let you guys know. Okay, see you later. Bye. What's up, other vloggers? Uh, I was feeling a little bit peckish, so I got some bakery snacks. This is uh, it's like a green tea red bean bun with cream cheese, I think. Something like that. And then this is like a mushroom, like a random assortment of mushroom uh, type bun thing as well. So I got savory and I got sweet. And this is like green tea, red bean, cream cheese. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Uh, but I just got that from a little bakery. It was 50 bucks, 50 Hong Kong dollars for the two. I think that was 30, that was 20. So, you know, $17 maybe for the both. Aussie, whatever. Um, yeah, that's it. One quick look out my window. Oh yeah, beautiful. Uh, what's up, mother vloggers? Uh, day four. Going to get some breakfast. And then just going walking. Because there's a, some sort of a temple or something out that way. I don't know. But uh, yeah, didn't really have any success yesterday with finding what I wanted to find. But at the end of the day, after about five hours of working, I just could not be bothered. So today I'm just going to go walking again. Um, it's fun. I don't mind doing that because I look around at everything and hopefully this time I'll get some more some interesting footage for you. And got to go take a lot of photos because I haven't taken any photos yet. So um, yeah. But apparently um, at the breakfast place where I was yesterday, there's a whole other side. So i going to get something different for breakfast this morning. But so uh, yeah. Then I'll still show you the gym. I was looking for the gym last night. I couldn't find it. But I found the swimming pool. If you could call it that. It's quite little. But I'll show you that later tonight. But uh, yeah. Alright. That's it. Yeah. Nothing exciting. But uh, yeah. Day four. Second last day. What's up mother vloggers? Just uh, walking down some very steep steps. It's uh, a little bit scary because I'm so tall. Ooh, and the handrails are dirty and I have white shorts on, I can't wipe it on my shorts but I'm going to, there we go but uh, yeah, I didn't uh, show you what I had for breakfast because I forgot, it was basically the same as yesterday only I found crispy bacon as well this time but yeah, it was basically rice and noodles and baked beans and all that sort of normal brekky stuff and I drank some tomato juice by mistake thinking it was berry juice but it's all good I think I'm allowed it down here I don't know, I just went and walked through uh, 
Dragon Terrace and Dragon Court and Dragon Hut Court and all these dragon named streets and stuff, so that was pretty cool. A lot of high-rise apartment, high rise apartments and stuff like that, so I'm not sure. So now I'm just exploring. But yeah, that's all that's here. Whoa, these steps are so small. Look, Whoa, I have to walk like this. It's crazy. But anyway, I'm not sure what's down here. It just looks like more apartments and stuff, and I'm just going to keep walking until I get knackered, and then I'll turn around and come back. So yeah, if I find anything exciting, I'll show you. More steps. I wonder I haven't seen any overweight Asians here because they're all fit walking up all the steps. This is mental. <sighs> and it's like 40 degrees out and all tropical and I'm sweating like balls at the moment. It's kind of a nice little few little parks and stuff. You can't have any dogs in here, but it's kind of cool. Got tennis courts in here. No urination. It's a good rule. It's a very good rule. It's just a basketball court. Oh, I gotta go up these stairs. Oh, look at the look at the buildings. It's like jungle meets concrete jungle. It is. <laughs> okay. That's a lot of stairs, man. Come on. The things I do for you guys, for all my mother vloggers out there. At least these ones are a bit longer. Oh, I don't even know what's up here. There's probably nothing. I keep walking down dead end streets. <clears throat> And having to turn all the way back because I walked up here into there. And that was a freaking dead end street. There's a school at the end there. Don't think I should have been there. It's like, I want to get out the back there because there's like mountains and jungle and forest or whatever behind all these buildings. I just don't know. Alright, fast forward up these steps. More steps. God damn it. And there's even more steps after this. Alright, fast forward again. Woo. I made it. I don't know what I made it to. But uh well, I'm getting into the more jungle part. So this is where I walked to before. And I wanted to go up all these steps, but I don't think I'm allowed to. But, yeah, anyway. I'm gonna try and go over there. Yeah, I'm not gonna go up there. It looks too busy with traffic and stuff. I seem to be leaving the sort of <clears throat> busy part, like business type place and I'm entering the residential area perhaps. Don't know. But I'm going to walk down this side of the street now. Because looking up here, look at the size of this building. Oh, I mean look at the size of that. People live in that. That's mental. I mean it's cool but that's crazy. It would be so cramped. This one up here is just Fuck living up the top of that, Jesus. But it's it's uh, seems to be residential, so I'm gonna just walk down this side. I came up from over there, so I'm gonna walk down this side and just see what's here. I could just catch a bus, but where's the fun in that? I've got all day. Check out their buses. They're all double decker. 
is cool. The trams are a double decker. <laughs> See, look, there's more of them. Okay, that one's not, but you get one here. Yeah, I came up from over there, so I'm just going to walk down here and just see what I find. I'm not sure. Yeah, talk to you later. There's some of those double-decker trams, I promise you. Look at that. It's crazy. And right on cue, double-decker bus. Yeah, I have no idea. That's the Hong Kong Central Library, though. Whatever you can see of that. Some more misty mountain backgrounds. That's that's huge for a library, like goddamn. Love to get in there, but well, it's too overwhelming. It's track, track and field stuff. Uh, I think I was over there before. I don't know where I am now. I think I'm headed back to Causeway Bay, sort of in my area. But we'll soon find out. Anyway. Look at that cool tram. And I'm going down Fire Dragon Path. Because it's fucking Fire Dragon Path. That's why. Uh, I think this is the right way to go anyway. Because I was headed down all these dragon paths earlier and stuff. This is just uh, just a path. I am yet to see any fire or dragons. But uh, it's still pretty cool. Like, oh, that could be. No, I was looking up at my hotel, which, which it wasn't my hotel. Electric box. So humid. <laughs> Everybody smokes here. Ugh. Ugh. Don't know where I'm going. I'm gonna go over here somewhere, I think. But anyway, if I find a fire or a dragon, I will show you and let you know. Ooh, this place has got fucking barbed wire around it. Is it a school? Is it a prison? There's a lot of people in there. It looks like a school. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I should film a school. That's kind of cool over here. But anyway, I think I recognize this area up here, so we shall soon find out. Okay, bye. Hey, what's up, motherfuckers? Hey, what's up, mother vloggers? Uh, I actually found something that I wanted to do. Um, I was going to go to Ocean Park, but it's pissing down rain. Like, it's smashing down the rain. So I found a space museum instead, Hong Kong Space Museum. That'd be pretty cool. It opens in a few minutes, so I'm going to go and check it out. There's a planetarium just in front of me here. Just over there. That's it. You can't really see. Hang on. Oh. Yeah, that's that's a planetarium there, and I'm guessing it's all in there, all the museum and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm gonna go check this out. Should be pretty cool. See you inside. Yeah, so I misread the times that this place actually opens. So I've got an hour and a half to kill. Yeah, I thought it said 11, but it said one. So, I'm gonna go find a coffee or something. It's been a little bit of an arcade, I think, with a pool. Except it's not really a pool. But, yeah, I'm gonna go and find some coffee and some free Wi Fi. Yep. Uh, hopefully, I can get some photos or something. Uh, well, second last day. Tomorrow is basically travel day, so, cram as much as in as I can today. Place so muggy. Oh, it's probably the most humid it's been because all this rain. Oh, it's hot. But anyway, I'll uh, talk to you when I get inside. <laughs> yeah. So I waited for an hour and a half to go to the space museum, and it's not open. At least the exhibition halls aren't open until the end of this year. They still had movies and shit, but they weren't starting like two. So another hour and a half away. 
and I wasn't waiting around for another hour and a half. So I'm not having much luck in finding something to do. So I'm just gonna go for a walk, eventually find a train station, maybe head back to my hotel and walk in opposite direction. It's uh yeah, it's one of those days. Shops, man. I just wanted to do a bit of shopping. They are crazy expensive jewelry. Sorry, mother. None of that for you. That's a Switzerland shop. Got Rolex across the road there. Another one of them jewelry places. I don't even want to know what that is. This is crazy. I'm just gonna go walking up here. Try not to get people in it. It's like I'm in the main what or one of the shopping districts, I don't know. Uh, it's so bizarre. It seems to have no structure just all over the shop, but I don't know. Look at that Emperor Watch and Jewelry. Another friggin' jewelry shop. Chow Sang Sang. I'm not even gonna bother looking because I'm gonna get uh, I'm not gonna be able to afford any of it. These places probably apartments and stuff. Oh, here we go. Some places across here I might be able to afford. Canon. That's like a sh camera shop. I was looking for one of those. I'll try across the road and walk back down that way or something. Seem to be on the expensive side. Anyway, talk to you later. Oh, fucking damn! Possibly the most densest part of Hong Kong I've been to, just in terms of shops and people and shops. Like, just alleyways full of shops. Um, and some of these places, if you didn't uh, know what was in there, like, you wouldn't go in there. They're, they're specifically there for people who know what's in there and they're going there looking for a certain item because you can't go in and browse. It's crazy. Oh, it's so hot and sweaty. I'm just walking, not really looking for anything in particular. But, uh, yeah, to get my head back to a train station and just head back to the hotel room for a bit. Cool down in the aircon. Um, that's just if I can find my hotel room <laughs> and the train station. I'm gonna get it this way. Oops, it accidentally out paused. If you look at that crazy scaffolding, the bamboo. I had a theory about that actually. I was thinking because you know it's raining all the time here and you can't actually do any construction work when it's raining, they probably set this uh, bamboo scaffolding up like 2,000 years ago and it's just still raining from that time so they're still on holiday or still on trying to uh, wait for the rain to stop so they can actually do some work. That's why it's still there. But I don't know, it's just a theory. Just a theory. But, uh, yeah, this is a very quiet considering where I just came from. God damn. Probably notice it a little bit more when I get around to this corner here. keep the camera as steady as possible but it's friggin hard because I'm looking around I'm not even looking at the camera well that's where I was I think so I'm gonna go this way hey I'm gonna go this way Ooh, I might cross the road first anyway if I find anything exciting I will let you guys know Ooh, I'm gonna go up here I think up here seems to be okay to go to
Is it nerd, uh, nerd phase? Nerd phase, that's the wrong channel. Sid Mother Vloggers, last day. I promised you I'd take you to the roof. But, oh, look at that. Great. This is a bit of a high hotel moving. Oh, it's windy. Freaky. Oh, oh. oh, that's so scary. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> oh. ah, see, it's cars driving in the mountains there. That's what I wanted to go yesterday, but I just, just it was too much, too overwhelming. So that's, that's really cool. 